Climate change in general is a change in the average global temperature. It's the number one thing that we should be worried about right now. The largest global catastrophe that's happened ever. It's one of the problems of our generation. I wouldn't say it's the biggest, but it, it, is, uh, it is there. There's a lot of social justice issues going on. I think that if someone had to pick one, this would be a good one to get behind. I definitely think climate change is something that we're not giving enough attention to. I think it's something that needs more awareness brought to it. I believe climate change is happening and we need to be aware of it. Climate change I think is happening. It's, it's happening it's now. Really climate change is real. I think it's real. It's definitely real. It's happening. Climate change is, is always happening uh, and it always has. Our presence has impact on the environment. Um, how much? That I don't know. To know if it's man-made or not, if like man is causing it. Um, it's kind of hard to say, that's not as obvious. The earth, uh, it goes through different phases and we might just be a part of that phase. I don't think that global warming is this catastrophe that's gonna ruin the world. There's this kind of like widespread misinformation. What exactly is climate change? What is happening? You kind of hear those stories about, oh, well, this is a super cold day, so it can't be global warming, right? Um, so I definitely think the term climate change is much more important to be using rather than global warming and stuff like that. Climate change, it, it will affect different regions of the globe differently. Um, so for example, some areas will receive more precipitation, some will receive less. Some areas might be colder and more experience more extreme uh, winters. Others might get warmer. It's something that we have to think about for our future and children's future. Um, I think that a lot of older generations don't really consider it um, because they weren't brought up to think about climate change as much. Um, and I don't think enough awareness previously has been brought to it. Um, so I think for the younger generation it is more of a concern. More people uh, be more aware of what um, they're doing and be more cautious of what, um, what we need to do. We need to talk about it in schools. Um, wherever we go, I think we need to really watch our actions. Definitely more attention and more action needs to be done across the board. I think there's some small steps that we can take in terms of reducing our carbon footprint as simple as just um, not using plastic bottles of water and investing in a reusable water bottle and you know, looking into using towels for cleaning as opposed to paper towels. We need to be making sure that we're composting and that we're recycling and that we are living a sustainable life. It is something that we should be aware of and realize like, you know, how much CO2 emissions we're putting into the atmosphere and be aware of that and hold companies accountable for that. Individual efforts will feign in comparison to what uh, major corporations and industry is doing to the country. The largest polluters in the world are the Fortune 500 companies and so I don't know, advocacy, I guess, is the only real answer because I can turn off my lights every time I leave the room and it won't really do anything when you have, you know, $65 billion companies just destroying the environment. It's all about money. Obviously, uh, we all use fossil fuels. We use fossil fuels to drive around. Um, our houses are powered on fossil fuels. So trying to get an economy that goes away from fo the fossil fuel industry and more into renewable energy like solar and wind. Yeah, I mean, the people have to hold uh, corporations accountable and stop subsidizing uh, industries that are harmful to the environment. Instead of uh, subsidizing fossil fuel industries, we need to more subs subsidizing um, uh, renewable energy uh, sources. There's no reason we can't convert to all renewable energy sources. We're a disposable waste society, and um, everybody's just throwing things in the rivers and just lakes, and so we need to be more conscious of uh, what we do with our trash. You should recycle. We recycle, we compost, we try to bundle our trips so we're not taking um, unnecessary car trips places. We're enjoying nature, we're, ex you know, we're trying to live as low carbon-based life as possible. So we have to we'll make sure we recycle and clean our um, place up. We do the recycling and then we're very aware of our eco-friendly products we purchase and making sure how they're being created and how what they're doing to the environment and then also to our bodies as well. I think it comes down to how we treat the earth, how we treat each other. Those are our biggest problems. Yeah. It is the biggest. It's a serious issue. It's one we really need to address quickly. Especially with some of these studies that are coming out about the timeline of the way climate change is going and the damage that our, um, the irreversible damage that's gonna be happening to the earth. Um, definitely a huge problem facing our generation. There's obviously things that are maybe closer and nearer or dearer to my heart, um, but 
the widespread what's going to affect all of us the most, I'd definitely say climate change is up there. One of the biggest problems is, is that corporate media doesn't cover it. You can see it happening all over the place, from glaciers melting to massive floods to heat waves. First of all, our political leaders need to be on the same page and agree that there is a problem with climate change happening, and then we go from there. Once everybody agrees, I mean, we can we can access our scientists and figure out a good way to address it. Um, I think that as stewards of this planet, we have a responsibility to, you know, do our part. I mean, you gotta start somewhere, right? It's not something that maybe even this generation will see, you know, a solution for, but just the small steps like reducing your carbon footprint, switching to a, an electric-based car, or just things you do around the house and be surprised how much electricity and resources you use up just on a daily basis with leaving water running or leaving lights on. Um, there's tons of little things that we can do. Everybody's got to do their part. I think realizing that every little thing can make a difference if you start with it yourself. You know, because a lot of times people think, oh, that's just me and it's not going to make a difference. But if, if everyone thinks that way, then nothing ever is going to happen. It's scary. Too many people don't care about this, this earth. I think that people, especially in conservative areas, try to not think about um, the impact that it has. I think you'll find across the board most people are working their way closer and closer to yes, changes are necessary. Um, and I think a lot of people are just scared about that initial change and what's going to happen. Also, the United States isn't the biggest problem. We gotta crack down on India and China, major manufacturing hubs. You know, we have to have some global accountability. I think there's a lot of great things happening with climate change, but I think there needs to be more awareness brought to it. Um, and I think people need to be more careful about their actions. But I do think that we're supposed to take care of our planet, and I, I try to do my best. I don't use plastic bottles. I try to not use anything I don't have to use. I try to throw away things properly. Um, I, I don't know, I guess, I guess I just listen to the news and try to address the situation. I believe walking more instead of using your car. We need to have more protests. We need to take more action. Massive civil disobedience. Massive nonviolent civil disobedience. Protests. Um, something I'd like to see is that communication happening between the metropolitan areas and like the changes that are happening there and does that work, is it feasible in the agricultural industry and how can we make it more so for them. So I think something that's super important is that we um, start communicating across those lines and have the conversations, what can we do that will help the agricultural industry be more comfortable with the changes we're implementing, how can we do this at a pace that is comfortable for them that's not going to cripple our agricultural industry, um, but they can also get the change that is absolutely necessary. I think climate change has always been an issue, but I think we're now more aware of what we're doing to the environment, so I think others are becoming more active in it. If we don't start taking care of our planet, there's not going to be much of one left for the people that come after us. I do think that it's important that we, that we take care of the, this God-given land that we have.